Well, today I've got a special guest here on the show with me. His name is Greg Ulmer. Greg, my friend, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Thank you, Jay. I'm doing excellent. Fantastic. Well, I was hoping Tia could make it uh, with us today, but I know she's busy getting here uh, ready for the Labor Day weekend. And um, so a little bit about you, Greg, uh, to let all of our viewers and, and listeners know, uh, Greg uh, came to my live event um a few months ago and uh wow he and tia are uh, are running out the gate very successful students very smart real estate investors and um so greg let's just go ahead and start in and uh, and get your background um how much uh let's talk about one of your deals that you've done but before we do that uh tell everybody where are you and tia are located and um the kinds of deals that you're doing now yeah, we're located in Durham, North Carolina, and we're uh, focusing on single family homes. So we're, um, you know, we're looking to buy and uh, flip or buy and hold. Excellent. Excellent. And so now both you and Tia still have full time uh, day jobs, right? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, tell everybody uh, what your day job is and uh, then tell them what Tia does. Okay, I am a um, IT manager with the state, and um, so I, I manage software development and testing. And Tia is a uh, she is a pharmacist by uh, her degree, and she manages uh, international drug studies. Got you, got you. So what's interesting you see here, Greg, and, and I know a lot of the uh, viewers and listeners, um, you know, will learn from this, and that is you are both of y'all have got the day jobs. And you're also real estate investing at the same time simultaneously. Right. So, um, so let's talk about one of your recent deals that you and Tia have done. Um, uh, so, um, so think of a deal. All right. And have you got one in mind? Yes, I think, I think so. Okay. So the deal, uh, the, it's a single family house, right? Right. Right. All right. So tell us how you found this deal and you got the deal instead of another real estate investor. <laughs> Actually, it kind of fell into our lap. We were, um, we we're attending, you know, different conferences. Of course, a real estate investor, you have to stay um, plugged in and learning, always learning. So um, we were talking to a realtor and she had a property. That just, it didn't, the deal didn't fall through. So as we were talking to her, um, you know, we said we would be interested. So she, we saw the deal, we saw it, and we, we bought it, you know, the same day. So. Awesome. Now, how did you fund that deal? The purchase was funded by a private lender. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so let's see here. Would you say that you would have missed out on that deal if you hadn't had the private money lined up? Definitely. Especially at that time. Yes. All right. Excellent. Well, you know, and you've heard me, you've heard me teach this uh, more than once, Greg, and that is the money comes first. In other words, well, um, well tell, tell the viewers and listeners what that means. What does that mean when we say the money comes first? That means you have so many options when you have money that you can put in an uh, offer or put in a bid for a deal and you can get it because you can move quickly. Yeah. Move quickly. That's one of the big benefits, as you just mentioned, Greg, about the private money is we can close so much quicker with yes. the private money. And for those of you that are listening or watching the show for the first time, let's be very clear on what or who a private lender is. So first of all, a private lender is not a hard money lender, right? It's not a broker. As you know, most of the time when people hear about private money, what they're really hearing about is hard money or a broker. So just real quick, as you pointed out, Greg, you can close so much quicker. You know, the average interest rate on private money now is 8%. Hard money is around 14%. Hard money has got origination points uh, or, um, or uh, you know, the, uh, the points or the origination fees, I'm trying to say. The average nation now is four points or 4%. Private money's got no points. Hard money's got extension fees. There's no extension fees with private money. We always uh, borrow more than we need to buy it. So we always get a check 
when we buy our houses. Did you do that on this particular deal, Greg? Did you borrow uh, more than you needed to purchase it? No, we actually uh, used our own funds to do the rehab. So okay. So you didn't need to. Yeah. Yeah. The purchase, we used all private money. And we okay. And you got 100%, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So you didn't have to bring any, any money to the closing table. Nope, not to the closing table. Awesome. Awesome. So again, folks, on the upcoming live event, uh, the first half a day and half of the second day is all about the private money. So back to your deal, Greg. Um, so how much did you pay for the, for the house? The, the sales price was 36000 So you bought it for 36000 right. I can't buy a house for 36000 in Moorhead City. <laughs> but anyway, um, so how much was the rehab? The rehab was 25,000. 25,000. And what is the, would you say is the after repaired value? After repaired value is right around 80, 85. Okay. So that's, that's a good, I mean, you, you still own it even after the rehab at a very big discount. Right. Yeah. This is this yeah. was not the out flip. So this was a right. Whole. right. And just so everybody knows if you didn't have, if, if Greg and Tia didn't have their own funds for the rehab piece, with these numbers, it'd be very, very easy to borrow from the private lender all the rehab money as well, because those numbers work. Right. Excellent. And how much are you renting it out for uh, per month? We rent it for seven ninety five a month. Seven ninety five. Well, you're doing better than the average on the rent cash flow. Yes, that one. <laughs> the 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 rule of thumb is whatever you know um, you've got or what, whatever the house is uh, what you've got in it. You want to get at least 1% of that value per month in rental. And you're even, you know, ahead of that. So congratulations on that recent deal, Greg. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Thank you. It was a good deal. Yeah, that's awesome. So what's interesting also about this, Greg, is that uh, one lesson or one lesson from the your story on this particular deal is private money can be used for either uh, uh, fix and flip, Mm -hmm. uh, or it can be used for the pretty house business if you didn't have to do rehab. But in your case, you're using private money for buy and hold. Exactly. exactly. For rental. So that that is uh, that's awesome. So again, private money be used for all different kinds of uh, real estate deals.